All right, guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you in Ableton how to bring in a uh, recording or a song or a sample and basically chop it up so that you can use it to mix in with a beat and uh, start looping it if you want. So first step is obviously you've got to download uh, the recording from wherever you've got it. If you've got it from an email, you have to download it into your, your folder somewhere. And basically what you want to do kind of first uh, is you want to make a folder in Ableton that's going to have all of your recordings in it, okay? So in Ableton, over here on the left, you can see under Places, you can hit this Add Folder. You're going to want to add a folder, and I usually do mine, like, in my libraries under Music. I create a new folder, and I call it, you know, like, uh, Tyler's um, uh, Recordings or, you know, Chopped Up Samples, basically. Just kind of one place where you're going to put all your files to, to keep it organized. And again, I click the Make New Folder to, to, to make that. Um, and then the point is, once you've done that, then literally you can click on this and you can drag and drop different samples or recordings that you've downloaded from uh, the internet or from wherever into here, and it's going to make a copy of it there. And once you've got that, you've got it organized. So in the future, you're gonna, you can you can just click this folder and see it all right there. So um, that's good. Next step is you want to bring it into Ableton. Um, the way you want to do this at first, see how there's, there's these two, two views, right? You've got a, a session view, which is the one you guys are probably used to, which is the vertical uh, track columns, and then you've got a uh, arrangement view, which is, which is horizontal, uh, kind of more like a timeline view. Again, the, the button I'm hitting to switch between these is the tab button on my keyboard. You can also use these two uh, icons op over here if you want to change, but... Typically, this arrangement view is the best for chopping up that sample and, and finding the parts that you want to cut out of it, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, drag one of these into an audio track because, again, this is you know, any kind of sample or MP3 file or .wav file. It's an audio track, not MIDI. MIDI, again, is the instruments that you can play with the computer through the software. But I drag it down here and look, at, I can see all this detail on the waves and where things are at. So basically, once I find the part I like, I'm just gonna listen to it. And the key is to find the part you like, and once you do, you're gonna select it, okay? And when you select it, the only thing is sometimes you may need a more fine control on what you're recording. So you've gotta click up in this top bar right here. You can see how it changes to this little, this little zoom thing. And you click and hold the click on top, and you can zoom in by either going down or up. So I, again, I went up here, I clicked and held my click, and then I moved my mouse down or up. Down zooms way in, up moves out. And the key to this, you can see, the, the further on we go, the more of these lines that we have, and the finer of a control we can get on exactly where we want our, our clip to basically cut in. And typically, you know, if you see one of these little valleys in the music right here, see how it kind of goes down right here a little bit? That's where it gets quiet, and that's probably usually where you want to make a cut, because the hills are where the music starts, obviously, or where, where the sound is. So I'm going to make my cut right here. Uh, there's a few ways to do this. You could, of course, select what you want and then go to File, Export Audio Video. What I usually do is I actually make a slice in this. And to make a slice, you click on your spot with this, and you right-click and click on Split. And then you go and find where you want this clip to end. So like, you know, if I want to basically loop from there to there, right there, I listen to it, I, I find the, the exact right spot where I want it to stop, and I also click again to make this little red line appear, right click, and I hit split. Okay, so now you can see I've got these two cuts in the track. So this track is ready to be used as its own little loop. But typically what I do once I get to this point, um, there's a few ways to do this, but the way I do it is I click on this, you can tell this, this is now the only one selected, I then click on file, export audio, and leave all these settings just how it is, that's fine. And I basically usually save this as its own clip in the same folder that I added here. So Tyler's Recordings, which I had added under my, my libraries, music, uh, Tyler's Recordings. Um, I'm going to save it there, okay? And I usually call it, you know, like the, the, the chopped up version of whatever it was. So this was a chopped up version of Tyler's song, whatever. Name that, let it do its thing, and look it. Boom, it should pop up now under that folder that you've got selected over here. And now um, I can I can kind of delete you know all the stuff I did over here. I can delete all this because I really don't need it because I've chopped up the part I want. And going back to hitting the tab button or clicking up here 
to go back to my session view. Now, if I drag in this chopped up version into one of these audio slots, boom, it's going to start looping automatically. You can see down here, it's just gonna loop over and over. And if I wanna see the details of it, I can double click on it. And now when I play, it's gonna show exactly where that loop is looping. See how that works? And if you wanna refine it even further, you still wanna, wanna you know, uh, cut it in a little bit more, these, these little flags up here, you can either shorten up your loop or make it bigger. So if I wanna shorten it up to start right here and to end right here, I can do that by just clicking and dragging on these upper little flags up here, okay? And now you can see when I hit play, look, it's just looping right here. Keep in mind too, if you wanna get out of this view and be able to see the rest of the stuff, all you gotta do is drag this line right here, click and drag it down to kind of be able to see both at the same time. So that's basically how that works. Um, and now this is looping. Again, if you want it to not loop, you could double click on it, open this up and see where this loop button is right here. You can uncheck that to make it where it won't loop. It'll only play when you hit play right here or when you press the pad on the Ableton push to trigger this clip. Um, also keep in mind that this warp right here, all that means is that from now on, if you change your, your beats per minute, your tempo of the song up here, it's going to actually change the speed of this loop, of this clip you've got. And if you don't want that, you've got to unwarp it. Um, so just FYI, keep, keep that in mind, okay? Besides that, that's how you do it. Um, any questions, just let me know, and good luck producing, guys. Later.